Now to the continuing reaction, both pro and con, to the outline of a nuclear deal with Iran reached this week. In a televised address on Friday, Iranian President Hassan Rouhani welcomed the accord and hailed it as the start of a new relationship with the world. The Iranians insist they'll abide by the plan that would shelve their presumed hope of building atomic weapons for at least 15 years. Israel isn't buying it. Elizabeth Palmer's in our London bureau with the latest. Elizabeth, good morning. Good morning. Well, for Israel and for the rest of the world, that matter, these negotiations were always about preventing Iran from developing nuclear weapons. But for the Iranians, it was something quite different. They were all about ending its isolation. After marathon negotiations, Iran's foreign minister, Jawad Zarif, arrived home a hero, especially among the young who hope the nuclear deal will bring their country in from the cold. At Friday prayers, there was the usual chant of death to America, but more habit than conviction. The sermon by senior Ayatollah Kassani made it clear that Iran's leaders support this deal. I congratulate those who led the talks, he said. Great job. For Iranians, the talks in Lausanne were not so much about nuclear weapons. Iran says it never wanted them in the first place, but about economics. U.S.-led sanctions have crippled Iran's businesses and its currency and sent inflation soaring to 40 percent. That's why a deal, even a preliminary one, kicked off such a celebration. I think the economic pressure that people have endured, said Davoud Ghaffari, will ease now. The partying may be premature, as details on sanctions relief haven't been hammered out yet. But the hope is very real. Contrast that with the reaction of Israel's prime minister. Such a deal does not block Iran's path to the bomb. Such a deal paves Iran's path to the bomb. Benjamin Netanyahu's dislike of that Lausanne deal is echoed in the U.S. House uh, of Representatives among Republicans, which could make ironing out the final details between now and the end of June the hardest part of all. Anthony, Vinita. Elizabeth Palmer in our London bureau this morning. Thank you, Elizabeth.